6. As your child goes off to school or college this year, there's a new and growing resource they can use to help them with their studies. Yeah, but in some cases, it could actually help them too much and get them in trouble. It's an artificial intelligence program that, among other things, can do school assignments for students without them doing any of the work. Anchor John Carter has that story as we all go back to school. Chat GPT is an artificial intelligence program, also known as generative AI, that debuted in November of last year. Generative AI means that kind of AI that is able to generate a stuff for us, generates images, generate audios, generate text. So Chat GPT is a generative AI model that can generate text in real time and hold a conversation with us. Dr. Hamid Tabki is the director of the nationally recognized AI research lab at UNC Charlotte. He explained to me that ChatGPT has basically been able to ingest all the text that has been generated throughout human history, everything that's on the internet. It can be a scary in some aspects, and the, the one that personally for me is fascinating is that we thought that the ability of reasoning and creation is kind of exclusively for humans. But now we have AI that has some ability to reason and create things. That's why we call it generative AI. And that by itself can be a great tool, you know, uh, can be a new way of doing things. And one of those new ways of doing things is raising concerns. Students, or anyone for that matter, could use ChatGPT to do their homework, write a report, a research paper that they should be writing on their own. Let me give you an example here. Say a teacher assigns a student to do a report on Abraham Lincoln. Well, that student, if they're using ChatGPT, doesn't have to do any research at all. All they have to do is type in, write a 300-word report on Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. And then, with just a stroke of a key, here comes your report. And that report, all original, generated exclusively for you. Because it's such a recent phenomenon, many school systems, including Charlotte Mecklenburg schools, do not yet have policies that directly address ChatGPT. I think ChatGPT and generative AI in general has risks and benefits, just like any other evolution of technology and the role that it can and possibly will play um, in terms of the teaching and learning that goes on in schools and workforce and future experiences for students. So as with any kind of new technology, there are risks and, and benefits to be explored. Chat GPT and AI are here to stay and more programs like them are coming. Educators and others will be constantly adjusting to keep up. For example, when Google came out and we felt that that was something that was going to do too much work for the child. Now we know Google is embraced in every classroom as a, as a great way um, to help children to investigate, go deep, learn about bias, reliability, and those kinds of things as they begin to compose and create their own work um, and knowledge. And so it, it just has continued to accelerate and I expect nothing different with the evolution of generative AI and tools like ChatGPT. Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools says it hopes to have a specific chat GPT policy in place by next fall. Currently, chat GPT has been blocked on all classroom computers within CMS. There's also a policy about cell phone use in class. <laughs> now, one other thing here, and I think this is interesting. I asked chat GPT to write this story for oh. me, and it did a really good job. Uh, can you tell whether I use ChatGPT, the version of it, or for this story, or did I write it on my own? <laughs> what we just watched. Therein lies That's the, the rub. That's the question you're saying. Is it? Yeah, Chat you just watched it. Was it ChatGPT or was it me? I'll let you decide. I'll vote John uh, because you would never cheat. You would never. No, <laughs> we saw you working on it too. Uh, yeah, yeah well, you were typing right, on that computer but it's a, a lot. It's a fascinating thing, it is. and we're going to see more and more of this. It's like she was talking about Google. We oh, it's not going to work. We we're it's right. going to do too much. Guess it's what? Everyone you, you better get ready for it's it. Here. It's, it's going to be a fascinating mm. thing. It was a good explanation yep. of exactly what it does and how you use it. So, John Carter, very interesting. Thank you Thank tonight, you. John. Did his own work, I know. Did you. his own work, I agree, <laughs> Jamie.